All right, can you hear me now? Hopefully everybody can hear me now. Typically it takes people a moment from the moment I say this for them to really see it. But I see a microphone. Yeah, right. Hey, hello, Goosey. Hello, Rosie. Hello, everybody. Um, hope you're all having a great day. And I hope everybody is enjoying it. I'm going to restart the... No, I won't restart this stream. It's all good. I'll just put up a message when I for the replay. So... Hey, I hope everybody's having a great week. It's kind of a rainy, soggy day. I'm sharing this on Facebook. That's the last place to put this, and we can get going with the week. Great to see so many people rolling in. Hope you're all having an amazing week. Um, it is an absolutely beautiful day down in Texas, and now that the rain has stopped. All right. Let's share as one last place. Junior DQH, Donna, Craig, Richard, Rosie, Goose, uh, Green, how do you say that? I hope I pronounce, uh, there's so many people's names, it's like, how do you say that? You People on YouTube need names like Jim and Jill and Jack. <laughs> That's are easy to understand. All right, so we got this underway. I hope you all had a great week. One of these weeks, I'll have a start of a YouTube stream. Have you ever noticed always something seems to happen at the start of a YouTube stream? Whenever we go live, it's something that's, the microphone is muted by mistake. This time it was pulling the wrong feed. I'm not really sure what happened there. Um, but there's always something. <laughs> it always kind of throws me off. So one of the easier weeks, we will start the YouTube stream without any glitches or issues. Hello from Chicago. Where's everybody from today? I see we have about 80 people here and we're only a couple minutes in. That's great to see. So Chicago again. Anyone else? Anybody from Grand Rapids, Michigan? We often have somebody. Louisville, Oklahoma. West Palm Beach, Seattle. It's great to see so many people in so many different parts. Seattle, Charlotte. Well, hello, everybody. Pennsylvania. It's great to see so many people here. But we're here to talk about core cutting now that we got all the weird glitches fixed out. So if you have a question about the world of core cutting, rather it be a technical question, a question about core cars news, always happy to answer those too. A question about um, what you think the future of core cutting looks like. I'm here to help. So leave your questions down in the comments. If you're watching this on replay, sorry about the muted mic there for a minute. We will be live. We are live on YouTube every day, every Wednesday. Excuse me. Every day will be a lot. Every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here. All right, everybody. Luke, I've been planning to wait. Yeah, the Wayback Machine is crazy. It's weird to look at Core Cars news on that. Compix, it's great to have you back here again. Thanks, Paul. I'm, I'm glad to hear you like the new Core Cars News app. Yep, if you haven't checked it out, Core Cars News now has an official Android iOS and app for Amazon Fire TV or Amazon Fire tablets. Uh, link in the show notes down below. When will we be able to just pick the channels we want and create our own packages? Well, we're that idea of a la carte TV, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, um, Spectrum actually has the closest service with their Spectrum Choice streaming service. Um, like 20 bucks, you get your locals, a bunch of music channels no one cares about, and then you get to pick 10 channels you want. And that's kind of the first step, is instead of a la carte direct, you get a la carte bundles, where the first version of it is bundles, and then from there, we'll slowly continue to work down the path to a la carte. The truth is though, not all cable networks will survive in a la carte situation so they're trying to hold out as long as they can or before they have to give up and shut down a few of their cable networks so we'll get there am i going to put video on the app right now we on the app we link to uh youtube and you can you watch these videos through the youtube app on your phone or tablet
Didn't YouTube TV introduce it quietly? Raymond, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Let me know, I'll do my best to answer your question. How much was the Tableau Cloud DVR? The one I, the Cloud DVR, I'm on the free beta trial. It's, I'm not sure what it is monthly. Anybody off the top of your head know what the Tableau Cloud DVR service costs? Um, the Tableau um, Dual Lite costs uh, $139.99 for the device. What is the Up Channel? Yeah, so that DirecTV now added the Up Channel. It's a family-friendly channel. Includes uh, like Whose Lines Anywhere, Gilmore Girls, has a few original programs. It's a surprisingly popular channel, very um, Hallmark-esque in its focus there, very family-friendly content. Um, so check it out. I'm talking about a la carte TV. Now, Raymond, that's not a la carte TV. Now, you still get the bundle that um, YouTube TV offers. What they're offering you is the ability to go and um, edit your guide. So you get these bundled channels, but if you decide you don't want to have a channel in your guide, you can remove it. You can rearrange the guide, make some different changes there. So check that out. It's a really cool. Go to corecarsnews.com. I have a story about that today. But just to be clear, it's not a la carte TV. It's just the ability to edit your guide. When is DirecTV Now DVR coming out? Could be next week, could be three months from now. Um, we don't know. I expect it to come out in spring, so by the end of June, I would be shocked if it's not out. Is the DirecTV Now DVR going to be part of the update on the app? It, when the DirecTV Now DVR rolls out, there will be a brand new app that comes with it. So keep that in mind. Colin says, Luke, when will the Core Cards News app support landscape mode on the iPad? No date on that. That's on the change log for the developer, but the developer said that that's not going to happen at the moment. That's one thing I would uh, I was quite um, surprised to see was a big request. Um, not something I looked at when I picked an app developer to go with, but um, so the Core Cards News app is basically a uh, a pre-made app. I'm not an app developer. We pay a monthly fee to to have that created. So um, there are improvements we're working with the developer on, but no promises about landscape mode anytime soon. All right, how, how much uh, quality difference between an in-router and AC router? If you're buying a, a router, I would always buy AC right now. There is a noticeable improvement in range and there's a noticeable improvement in the performance of streaming, especially when you look at multiple devices. In a day and age where everything from the doorbell to the coffee pot is um, you know, out there, it, ca it causes a lot of devices on your Wi-Fi network. And it, AC does a lot better job managing multiple devices than in. Yes, uh, if you read Core Cars News, Raymond, you would see um, that, yes, uh, Roku did ban another channel, US TV Now, um, at the request of the content owners. When they say that, I'm assuming they're meaning like the channels that uh, US uh, TV Now was offering made the request to have it pulled. So we'll have to wait and see. US TV Now keeps saying it's a technical issue, but Roku came out on their forums and through an official account and said it was removed, they removed it from Roku due to copyright claims. If you want to, people are saying, you know, they want to be able to view the live Q&A through the um, Core Cars News app. Right now we don't support that feature, but you can on phones and tablets, just download the YouTube app for free and watch this Q&A for free on your phone or tablet. Do you think the problems between Google and Amazon will get resolved? You know, we haven't heard anything about any talks happening. It has raised serious questions if Google and Amazon are even still talking. There's definitely seems to be bad blood there. Um, so, and I just, Google is talking to me. Um, so there definitely seems to be bad blood between the two. And I don't predict any uh, change in that anytime soon. Yeah, Tableau's did update their uh, Roku app today. Um, and it, it does show some more content on the homepage. It minor changes, mostly it seems to be back end, some minor front end changes to the menu, nothing major. I have not been able to read um to review the new Stream Plus from Channel Master. I talked to them, they're sending me the antenna, but they say the Stream Plus is not um, currently available for review. I may try to get my hands on it, but I think they're back ordered. So back in January, they promised me a review unit. So I didn't go and pre-order it because Channel Master promised a review unit, but Channel Master has yet to deliver that review unit to us. 
Um, I may, I'll try to see if I'll keep my eyes open to buy one if I find them back in stock somewhere. But if you guys want to, send Channel Master a message saying, hey, Core Cars News wants to review your Stream Plus streaming player and DVR. So be polite. Let them know that you want to hear what we have to say. Do you know when YouTube TV will add the Food Network? And YouTube TV has said nothing about adding the Food Network. I would assume that if it's not on there now, that you probably won't be seeing it. Just take that with a grain of salt. If you're looking to, yeah, mesh Wi-Fi systems are a great option. Um, I, one router is always best versus mesh. If you if you can get a, a powerful router, put it in the center of your home, one will always give you better results than mesh in my testing. With that said, mesh routers are a lot better than they used to be, and they're not a bad option at all for core cars. So I would highly recommend it. Um, if you're looking for, okay, um, any word from Philo about guide? So Philo does have a guide on the web version. Philo's um, Roku channel does not have a guide. And it, people used to say, well, Roku's can't handle a guide. Well, we've seen that's not true because PlayStation View has a guide, Sling TV has a guide, DirecTV Now has a guide. Um, pretty much everybody has a guide on Roku. So this argument I never understood. P Anti-Roku people would say, well, Roku's are technically sophisticated enough to handle a guide. Well, it's in reality, it, we quickly learned that, no, it really had to do with Sony mostly just being lazy and not developing the Roku channel. Philo, I'm not really sure what they're doing, but they're not developing their service as quickly as being people thought. Um, not sure if it, that means it's not developing as quickly and getting the subscribers they want. Not sure if that means that their team is small and their budget's tight and they're putting their efforts elsewhere. Uh, but Philo hasn't brought a guide to Roku and Philo has not rolled out the Apple TV app they've been talking about for some time. With cable, you're able to watch something different from the other person. Can you still do that uh, on streaming services uh, if you're on the same account? Yes, it depends on the streaming service how many streams you can have. For instance, depending on how much you pay with Sling, you can either have one stream or up to three streams at the same time. Uh, DirecTV now has two. They announced that third is coming. Um, PlayStation View has five. Uh, somebody remind me, does... Uh, um, YouTube TV is it two or three streams I can't remember at once but you can have multiple streams at the same time but you also find that very rarely would people be watching multiple live things a lot of times somebody will be watching direct TV now or sling or PlayStation view etc and the other person may be watching Netflix so keep that in mind uh, when will direct TV now be available on fire tablets no clue they have not set any deadline for support on that and thank you for the two dollar donation really appreciate that YouTube TV, people are saying, has three streams, so keep that in mind. Um, so you can watch three different items at once. Any update on when you, ESPN Plus is going to be available? Um, I would expect somewhere spring or summer 2018. It seems like they're getting pretty close. They're starting to give a lot of details about it. So spring, summer 2018, but probably not next week, maybe in June, maybe late April. I don't know. We'll see. All right, the DirecTV Now beta app, do not recruit, movie fan. I'm not sure exactly I understand your question. I guess you're seeing a blank screen when you try to record something. Let me know if there was a particular something there I can help you with. I'm in the market for a four tuner OTA um, DVR. What's the difference between a HD Home Run and Tableau? Um, HD Home Run really needs another, needs another device. So if you have a media server, if you have something like a NVIDIA Shield, which can act as a media server, it is a great option. Um, research it because it also runs off different ones. I personally think the um, using the HD Home Run with a Plex server is the best software on that. Tableau is a device where you plug in the Tableau device, you hook it up to your Wi-Fi, and it's working. Um, you don't need a media server or an NVIDIA Shield to make that work. I saw a lot of people like, oh, well, HD Home Run's cheaper because you need to buy an external hard drive for the Tableau. Um, true, up front, but then you're ignoring the fact that you need an ex you need a media server. For some people you have one, some people don't, so just keep that in mind. Luke, trying to find out Netflix on the way back 
Do yeah, some places on the Wayback Machine block you on that. Any update on Android um, DirecTV now coming to Android TV? Not at this time. They've said nothing about it. Mike says, thank you for helping us cut the uh, cut cable. We um, just cut cable yesterday. Mike, welcome to the core Cutting family. It's great to see that you made the plunge. Hang in there. The first month or two is the hardest as you kind of work your way through everything and learn all the ways around it. So keep that in mind. Do directional antennas work well with um, H, um, high VHF stations? Yeah, they should. Most antennas work great with VHF, both um, high and low. Would you switch from PlayStation View to DirecTV Now for the free Apple TV deal? Well, my thing is, if you've been thinking about trying it, DJ, I would uh, give it a try. Here's the reality. I mean, so you get it, you try it for three months. Um, the deal ends at the end of this week. So I would get on it now. Um, try it for a few months. And if you don't like it, just go back to PlayStation View and you got a free DirecTV Now. Uh, really no risk in this situation. I have an HD home run, but I really want to uh, watch my locals on the go. You think they'll add that? Um, I think if you use certain software, I believe Plex will allow you to do that. I know Tableau does if you pay for it. Um, I think somebody, anybody here have Plex DVR use every day through an HD home run. From my understanding with that, you can, if you have a Plex server running in your home, you can stream it outside your house. But somebody um, help me with that. Luke. Um, do you keep an um an eye on the local stations improvement here um uh, their OTA coverage? You know, Colin, uh I it's hard to track every OTA station around the United States of what they're doing. There's hundreds of them. But with they are working on rolling out with um the 3.0 um new standard, which is being tested in Phoenix in the next month or two, probably gonna start rolling out nationwide next year. You'll probably start seeing that happen. Um you probably start seeing that happen next year. And that 3.0, what I'm getting at, will offer a better uh, penetration out there with more uh, coverage. So keep an eye on that. Everybody's saying that, yes, if you pay for the Plex Pass, again, you have to pay a monthly fee, you can stream outside your home network. Uh, Larry, thank you for the $2 donation. John, uh, thank you for the $2 donation. Says, when will streaming NFL games 4K be the standard? Um, no idea right now. NFL has become better streaming, but we're still far away from 4K on that. I don't, I mean, most NFL games, I don't know of any NFL games that stream in 4K or air in 4K across cable networks. So somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. Any update to CW and DirecTV now? No, they have a bunch of them, but no new ones being announced. Jeff, question. So... With Plex, you say you can watch DVR remotely. Can you watch live? So if I'm on my Android through the Plex app with HD Home Run, I can't remember if this works. Can I watch it live or is it only access to my DVR? I think it's only access to my DVR, but can you double confirm that? That'll be one thing that Tableau does that the um, HD Home Run does not. Plex Goosey is free, but you need to get Plex Pass, which is a monthly fee, or you can pay it for a lifetime one with it okay people are saying yes you can watch live outside your house if you get the plex pass mule says will any streaming service ever have sports and news only channels possible i mean the reality is live tv in the future is just going to be sports and news because um if the walking dead comes out they can just put it available on demand watch it wherever you want there's no need in the age of cord cutting in the age of streaming there's no need for live linear channels like a and e that they just show pre-produced content because a and e could just say sunday at 8 p.m eastern the walking dead is going live on our on-demand service and there it is so Derek says live TV versus on demand. Is it worth the extra money to go live versus Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon Prime? You know, Derek, that's really a personal opinion. For me, it wasn't for this job. I would probably only subscribe to a live streaming service during football season. The rest of the year, I would be more than happy with just um, Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. Uh, and that's the thing you got to really make the change about when it comes to cord cutting is you don't have to subscribe to these services all the time. You can subscribe to them when you want them. So, I, But... 
the question is, is it good for you or required for you is a personal opinion. Do you um, watch it? Is it important to have a live feed of Fox News or CNN? You know, one of the reasons my family cut the cord because we realized we weren't watching all the news or all the programs live. We were watching them on our DVR or on Hulu later. So um, really personal opinion out there. Uh, get them wherever you think or get whatever service you think is right for you. No one service is best for everybody. Um, we switched to Hulu commercial free as a good substitute. Yeah, a lot of people do that. When I became a core cutter, I lived in an area without an OTA antenna signal. We used to Hulu as a substitute for antenna because we lived in a valley like 60 plus miles from a transmitter. Um, Duff um, asked, can you get that um, the Apple TV 4K deal with the DirecTV Now three months $10 promo rate? No, it's one deal or the other. You can't combine the deals. Um, Rod says, I currently use a Clearstream Mac V4 Max antenna. Is there any other antennas you would recommend? I've been thinking about more omnidirectional antennas. Um, the Clearstream 4 is one of the best ones. Or if you're struggling to get a particular channel, um, Mohu, Turk, um, there's a bunch of them out there that are really good outdoor antennas. I would encourage you to just try to put that antenna as high as you can get it because it is a pretty omnidirectional antenna. Uh, and I would say try to fiddle with that before you go buy another one. RCA is another good brand of antennas. Have you heard of TiVo come out with a new unit for OTA TVR? Um, no, TiVo has not said anything about new DVRs or OTA. They came out with one last year, and TiVo is clearly kind of backing off on their hardware. Their real focus nowadays is the fact that they are a data analytics company versus a um, more of a um, on-demand service so keep it or a DVR company so keep that in mind all right this is really bugging me am I did I just move that in or out oh move that in there we go it was really bugging me that my head was like half cut off on there so let's keep these questions coming all right i'm a new core carter i'm well over one terabyte any uh first month with three days left any advice uh any advice on uh how to reduce the data usage um dominic my recommendation if you're going over your data cap three things a turn off uh, autoplay next episode often people burn hundreds of gigabytes of data especially at night so you start netflix hulu whatever you watch an episode halfway through it you fall asleep right and then the next episode plays the next episode plays and plays three or four um episodes and then it suddenly uh you lost uh hundreds of gigabytes of data so that's my number one thing there um the other thing is go to corecarsnews.com in the there type in the word data cap and right there in the search you should find a um post called how to stay under your data cap there's other ones but turning off autoplay next is the one I would say saves people the most data if you have a data cap. Approximately how much can we, uh, how much can we make being a beta tester? Typically nothing. S services typically do not pay for beta testers. There we go. So it would be cool if they did. I'll probably be making more money. Will the CW app be on Android TV Play Store? You would hope. Um, Android TV, though, is a relatively small streaming footprint compared to the big three and Chromecast if you make that the big four. So it definitely seems to begin the uh, less attention. I mean, even Google doesn't give Android TV the do it deserves. When um, Google was out there and at their last big press conference last summer talking about Chromecast and everything. They went on and on about Chromecast. Not a word in the big presentation about Android TV. They had a separate side event to announce new changes to Android TV. Really makes you wonder how serious they are about Android TV. Is my $5 HBO Direct TV now in jeopardy with the court case? Um, well, $5 HBO Now deal or HBO deal with Direct TV Now was in place long before um, before this deal was in place. So even if it falls apart, I would be surprised if that suddenly changed.
Um, Duff asks, can you use a different preamplifier on antenna? I've been thinking about getting a channel master preamp. Yes, so the one that comes to your antenna is not specific to the antenna. The antenna is a dumb piece of equipment. It's basically a, a specialty metal rod. Um, so yeah, you can buy a channel master one if you want, stick it on your antenna and see if that gives you better results. Um, I will say there is a difference between some of the very cheap amplifiers that come with a, like if you buy a $15 amplified antenna off of eBay or Amazon, um, the amplifier is probably not as good as some of the higher end ones you can buy online separate. So keep that in mind. John, thank you for that $2 donation. I really appreciate it. Those go a long ways to help. Core Cars News. OT or PPS app subscription seems to be the way to go. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you can get an antenna, get a Tableau DVR, then you don't have a reason to need a PPS app subscription. When will the regular Jack TV Now app have DVR? Never. Um, when the DVR rolls out, the new, the, the current beta app will replace the regular Jack TV Now app, and that will become the standard app, and that will become the one with the DVR on it. Uh, does the channel master um, pre amplifier make a difference? For some people, they really swear by the amplifier. I know that in my case, I find the amplifier does make a noticeable difference in my home. Uh, if you live very close to a transmitter, it may not do anything for you. Um, it really depends on where you live, what your circumstances are. All right, Jack TV Now is uh, really giving Corus a bad rap. Um, you know, I, if you don't like Jack TV Now, there's like 10 other services. I don't think they're giving core cutting a bad rap. It really, if you don't like Jack TV Now, don't get Jack TV Now. So people are saying the Jack TV Now beta is not working tonight. Very possible. Let me change that. All right. Direct TV now, DVR now, do do do. All right, if you have a question, let me know. I'm gonna quickly play an ad. Some people are gonna see this, some people are not. Helps pay the bills. Give me about 20 seconds, we'll be right back. If you're still here, don't forget we now have an Android, iOS, and Amazon Fire uh, tablet app, which allow you to never miss a core cutting news story. Has far fewer ads than the mobile sites. So check that out there. Um, also, hey, uh, you can find a link to it down in the show notes. But if you're still here and you have a particular question about core cutters news, about core cutting, tech support, about the future of core cutting, leave it in the comments somewhere, wherever side that is, and I'll do my best to answer them. So let's get right back to the questions now. We absolutely love PlayStation Views Direct TV Now. It's absolutely unlimited, and all channels include locals can be viewed from anywhere. Yeah, so PlayStation View just made their change that. Something like Hulu's been doing that for a little while now. YouTube does that also for a while now where if you travel to a different town, you just get the locals from that market. So it's great to see PlayStation View from doing that. One thing about it being unlimited is to remember that it doesn't allow you to um, keep it after 28 days. A lot of people, um, that's one of the drawbacks I hear from people is they, they want to save a particular show or game or movie and they can't. So just keep that in mind. What new channels did DirecTV Now add this week? Um, SNY Sports Network in the New England area. Uh, Up Family, which is a family-friendly kind of Hallmark-type channel with Gilmore Girls, who's lying anyway. A bunch of originals and uh, other family-friendly programming. Um, there's one other channel started. I can I remember the facts about it. It started by Magic Johnson in 2012. Um, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's a uh, another channel. Um, but I'm blanking out the name of it. I want to say it starts with the letter A. Um, and you can find out all about this. Go to corecardsnews.com. First page, you'll find a story with all that detail there. Um, RGZAP, do you have a link to a story that says that PlayStation Views DVR is now unlimited for life? Um, I know that they have, um, their homepage was updated, but when you went into... Uh, their FAQ, it still says 28 days and it still uh, is deleting people.
Oh, um, that particular Tony, that particular service you um you mentioned is, as they say, too good to be true? Question mark. You know, if it sounds too good to be, uh, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. John says I'll be cutting the cord next month. Um, getting my stuff ready, and I've decided to go with DirecTV now due to the fact that they have a few more channels. I want over places you view. You know, John, my recommendation is to try both if you've been on the fence. Uh, both offer a free trial. Take advantage of them one at a time. Maybe do them right now. Sign up for PlayStation View. Try that for a week. Sign up for DirecTV now. Do it for a week. And then decide which service offers the device you want. Or the which service offers everything you want and go with that. Uh, Mark, sadly, no word on VidGo, but if I hear anything, I will let you know. All right, is Roku do oh, radio frequency remotes compatible with all other Roku boxes for all other functions? Um, yeah, so the Roku remotes that are the um, RF uh, need a Roku that works with RF. Now the RI, the line of sight, the light Rokus will actually work on like Roku Ultra. You can point a line of sight Roku remote at it and it will work, so keep that in mind. Hello, Katie and Charles. My who who live give me do do home location no matter where I am. Colin, it shouldn't. It should be only giving you locals from the market you are in. That's per who. Julian, last year I don't think I saw any blacked out games from uh, Directv Now NFL down here in Texas. Aspire, thank you. So Aspire was the other channel um, that was added to DirecTV Now. So that was the third one. So um, Up Family, SNY, the Regional Sports Network in the greater New York, New England area, and Aspire. Katie Charles, I don't know if I understand your question. Can you give me a little bit more detail what you're asking there? All right. Any recommendations on gigabyte services? It depends on where you live, Ruben. If you live in a market, um, it's hard to tell you because I could say, oh, get Spectrum, but if you live in a Spectrum without it, in a market without it, it's hard to say. You need to talk to um, all your internet providers in your area to see what they have available for you. John, thank you for the donation. He says, DirecTV Now, DR, can you start a show that's still recording? Um, I believe so. In my testing, I was able to do that. I just got DirecTV now. What do you know about the DVR when it's coming? They say spring 2018 is coming. I would expect it to uh, roll out in the next three months or so. Luke, do you get paid for ads if somebody um, hits the skip button? Yes, I do still get a little bit of money from that if somebody hits the skip button on videos. Thank you for not using an ad blocker. You know, just you know, just watch those first few seconds, hit skip, I still get credit for it. Um, Everybody's asking about DirecTV now is when is their DVR coming out? They say spring 2018, so anytime between now and really the end of June, I would expect it to come out. Does look like they're getting ready for it, but wouldn't expect it tomorrow. Maybe next week's possible. Next month or two, I'd be surprised if it's not out. Paul, I just did. If you want to learn more about the DirecTV Now DVR, go to corecarsnews.com. Type in DirecTV Now DVR. You'll find a ton of stories. Can converter boxes, boxes act as a DVR? Some do. Some have limited DVR functionalities. Converter boxes take those um, in older like tube tv without a digital tuner and gives it a digital tuner some do offer dvr out there um but take it with a grain of salt because they're not often the greatest ones in the world 
M says, DirecTV Now, DVR, maybe next week, maybe in the next few months. That's true. Uh, one of the things I will caution, everybody, it seems like every day somebody comes to me and says, hey, I went and chat with DirecTV Now tech support on their chat system, and they told me it's coming tomorrow or the DVR is going to come out on this day. Chat will lie to you with a straight face. Uh, I really think DirecTV Now chat support gets paid by how often they turn over to the next customer, and I think they tell people whatever they think you they want you to hear. So DirecTV Now will um, go out there and um, say, hey, here is um, whatever I think you want to hear. DirecTV Now's DVR is coming out tomorrow. Yeah, we'll carry the NFL network. Nine times out of 10, they'll tell you that, and then they'll be proven wrong. So just don't trust the chat support. Um, super, I'm not, I don't believe, I don't know. I'll look into that super. I'm not sure if chat, Spectrum Streaming Choice, the service that allows you to pick the channels you want, um, gives you access to um, cont- gets you access to like the um, TNT app or etc. Um, I will try to look into that. I am unsure to be honest with you. I have played around with Google Live channels. It's not a bad service. The Channel Master's new streaming player pretty much uh, relies on that. All right. Um, what would you recommend most DirecTV Now, Sling TV, or Hulu? It really depends on what you want. I recommend you do this, Paul. Sit down, write down the top 10 channels you want. Really think, do I really need these channels or do I just want them? And put down the ones you need. And then start looking at different services. Uh, go to corecardsnews.com. At the top, there's a live TV guide. There you'll be able to look at, you know, say you want ESPN to be able to look up all the services that offer ESPN. You want the Hallmark channel, you'll be able to see all the services that offer the Hallmark channel. So I really recommend you check that out. Um, which do you prefer, Sling TV, DirecTV, or Hulu? Uh, Paul, same answer. It really depends on who you are. There's no right one right service. Don't pick a service just because I may think it has the channels I want for it. I would get the service you want. They all offer a free trial, Paul. Try them out once at one at a time, and I bet you'll find the one that you will best fit for you in the future. Yes, Hulu Live does offer a DVR. Um. Uh, check it out if you read their website their FAQ has a whole bunch of details on it Uh, if you're looking for a cat 7 switch I'd get the 1000 there yeah Craig Sling TV's customer service is some of the best out there for streaming services others have really good customer service too though all right did I get a new camera? No, it's actually the same camera. A little bit different lighting. I am. I want to get a regular video camera that doesn't have the 30 minute cutoff on it. Um, and we're looking at solutions for that. So um, I'll probably be uh, um, working on that. But unfortunately, this Canon I have after 30 minutes, it turns off no matter what I change. And I talked to Canon about it in person. They said there's nothing they can do about it. All right, questions, comments, keep them coming. I'll do my best to answer them. Any idea if Roku would come out with a new player this year? Probably. I would be very surprised if they don't. They seem to be almost yearly rolling out some type of upgrade or, or change. The question is, will it be a complete refresh or just an update? You know, like last year was kind of an update where they took the Roku Ultra and they kind of updated it, but they did launch like the new Roku Streaming Plus stick. Um, so be interesting to see what happens next year or later this year. What's a good option watching Doctor Who without um, live TV? Uh, you can subscribe to it on uh, Amazon or iTunes, get a season pass. Probably the cheapest way to be honest is just get a season pass. 
um, and you can go there and um, subscribe to it. The next day you'll get access to the Doctor Who. This uh, Philo stream at 60 or 30 frames per second. I believe Philo streams at 30 frames per second, but since they're not streaming sports, that's really all you need to be honest with you. When do year does Roku usually release new devices? Either in late spring or uh, fall of the year. So it could be either. Some years they flip flop them back and forth. Really could be anything. How do I donate to Core Cars News? If you want to donate right here, you can just click on the super chat button, type in a donation amount, send us a message, and you just donated. You just send us a super chat and you'll send a donation. Which live streaming service pulls the least amount of bandwidth? I think they all pull about the same, to be honest with you. If you're still suffering with a lot of buffering, you may double want to double check the quality of your Wi-Fi. Weak Wi-Fi is the number one reason for buffering. Paul, if you're struggling with your Air TV, I would contact um, Air TV. They got pretty good customer service there, and they should be able to help you. Kate, um, Katie and Charles, I didn't see your question. There's 152 people here. I'm not going to be able to see every single question. So instead of saying you're mad, just re-ask the question. If I, this goes to everybody. If I miss your question, you want to answer. Once it scrolls up past the list, if I was talking, answering another question, it's kind of gone. You need to re-ask it. And yeah, um, any idea what DirecTV now will add support for Direct TV, Discovery Go? No, they have not said anything about adding support for Discovery Go. Um, Roku's new voice service. So Roku already has voice and they've upgraded it a lot. It does a lot more things, opens things, does everything. But the Ro Roku voice assistant, which will um, offer a ton of more features out there, will come out this fall with um, basically be a drag take on a Siri and, and um, the Echo devices. What streaming services do I use? Asked Kathy and Charles. Um, I use... Pr for my work, I have everything. I have every live TV streaming service from Philo, YouTube TV, DirecTV Now, Hulu, Amazon, Sling, uh, et cetera. Um, I have all on-demand services, Amazon, Netflix, Hulu. I think I said Amazon during the live TV. I meant that as on-demand. Um, the uh, For personal though, I would probably, I've done a whole post on this and um, if you go to corecardsnews.com. It would take me a long time to break down each one I want. Go to corecardsnews.com in the search type in Ultimate core card setup to find a breakdown of what I use. Luke, or, um, Econet says, what do you think of the new Bleacher Report streaming service called Bleacher Report Live? Um, I'm very interested. I got a story going live tomorrow on that. It, um, it looks like it gives you the ability to subscribe to NBA, um, the NBA streaming service through it. And then they have a bunch of smaller known streaming sports networks. It'll be interesting. I think we are at a point where there are more streaming services that are survivable. Interesting. What will be surviving two, three years from now? What won't? What do you think about TCL Roku TVs? I absolutely love TCL Roku TVs, John. I actually replaced my living room and bedroom TVs with a TCL Roku TV. Very, very happy. What streaming services wouldn't I get? Well, that that's kind of one of those personal questions. Um, I'm not a WWE fan, so I probably wouldn't subscribe. But if you're a WWE fan, the WWE um, streaming service is great. These questions a lot of people ask, like, what it, what do you use? Because I want to use that. Really isn't the best question. You need to look at what you want. Because unlike with cable, where cable says, hey, we're going to give you a bundle. And this bundle, you have to, you know, this is what you're going to get or you're getting nothing. With core cutting, um, it you get to build what you want. Hey, Tony, that particular service you're talking about is not a legal streaming service. Do you think Pluto TV will um, offer, will have a pay app in the future? I think Pluto TV has made pretty clear that they intend to stay 100% free. Um, so I'd be surprised if they do add a pay option to that. Thanks, Paul. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm not sure on phones. I know there's a way to do it on phones. I've done it before on a phone with Super Chat. You just got to click on the Super Chat and send us a Super Chat. Uh, is it worth the wait for the 2018 TCL Roku 6 Series? Um, the 6 Series will be a, a high-end Roku TV. It will cost a little bit more. Um, but I will say the, T the Roku TCL 2018 6 series 
is a noticeable jump up in picture quality and device um, quality going forward. Any devices with new AX Wi-Fi center, if they are the pre-release, I would hold off a few months until we see um, them really start rolling out from some of the bigger companies. So AX is the next generation of Wi-Fi. AC is really good. AX is supposed to be better. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy anything on the market now. I would try to wait until the next generation comes out. Um, is the 65-inch TCL 6 series going to be released alongside the 55-inch? I believe so. Yes, both the 55 and 65-inch. I believe will come out in um, May 2018. Do you think Tableau or um, HD Home Run will come out with more than four tuner device? Very possible. Um, I have not heard anything about it right now. Chris says, uh, YouTube TV recently added Turner Channel, C CNN, TBS, TNT, etc. Will they offer access to their apps? Um, maybe. I haven't heard, though. I would send them an email. Let them know you want it. All right. Hey, um, tons of people here. If you're here first time um, watching our weekly Q&A, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we are live on YouTube answering your core content related questions. Leave us a comment down below. If you're new, I'd love to hear from you. Also hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. We all week long, we're posting videos over at corecarsnews.com. Every day we post multiple stories covering the world of core cutting, so you can never miss one of the bigger stories. Uh, Paul says, do you think Sling TV is gonna start um, catching up with um, Direct TV now? Uh, well, what do you mean with catching up? Sling TV has more subscribers than Direct TV now. Um, so I, I'm not sure I understand your question. Movie fans said, well, ESPN Plus have live streamed MLB games. They've said that you won't be able to get MLB games on market. How exactly that will work, we'll have to wait and see. Ken says, how long will it be until 4K TVs start having 3.0 tuners? Probably late this year. Next year, we'll start seeing TVs with, with 3.0 OTA TV tuners being built into them. Now that the standard is official. So the Longhorn Network is on Drag TV now. I want to say it's on PlayStation View, but don't count me on that. But the Longhorn Network is on Drag TV now if you live in the select market. And I can confirm, yes, PlayStation View does have the Longhorn Network. Tony, I don't um, support, we only support legal services here. Can you explain the, um, how to use Twitter in cord cutting? I see our crows ever, um, ever so often about Twitter. So yes, Twitter does have apps on pretty much every streaming service uh, or device, Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV, and Roku, would, and they stream a ton of content on Twitter. So keep an eye on that. Um, and it works just like any other streaming service. It just, you open the app and it streams um, video to you. Uh, Richard says, when would the Roku soundbar come out? They say fall 2018 it will come out. And if you want to first look at it on this YouTube channel, go to um, uh, go to our YouTube channel, click on it, and search for Roku. And one of the videos will be a review of the Roku soundbar. Well, not really a review, a first look at it that we shot during CS 2018. Mule, thank you for the $2 tip. I really appreciate it. Do you think Sling TV is ever going to catch up with DirecTV now? It seems that to me that they're falling behind. Paul, when you say they're falling behind, what do you mean? They still have over a million more subscribers than DirecTV now. So how are they falling behind? I may be able to answer your question. Um, Sean, do you, what do you think about the future of um, national and local news? I think local news and sports is going to be very successful in the world of cutting because it's live and people want to watch it live, so they're willing to watch ads. Um, what I said when CNN failing is if everything would go a la carte, statistically, there um, not enough people watch CNN and MSNBC and et cetera for them all to survive, that some of those channels would just fail and fall apart. Um, so keep that in mind. Michael says, I read on Reddit that DirecTV Now is going to um, release a DVR on April 1st. It could be true, um, but how many times have we seen that? That particular story had no um, no supporting evidence to support their claim. So take it with a grain of salt. Well, 
Will DirecTV Now DVR ever support recording events past scheduled time? I would email DirecTV Now and ask them. It's currently not supported, but they could support it. Will Tableau um, tuners upgrade to 3.0? I would have to ask them, Paul. Um, I haven't heard anything, but you're, you're years and years. Probably by the time that becomes an issue, your DVR will stop working because of old age. Tony says Fox News is developing an OTT network, but it's not going to be Fox News. It's going to be a separate Fox service called Fox Nation with its own original content. It's not going to be a feed of Fox News. Select TV or Set TV? Um, Select TV is a legal service. Um, I believe you're, the first time you did it, you I thought you used a different name there, Tony. Um, I don't believe that's castable to Roku at this time. Paul, um, Sling TV is deliberately not having locals because the Sling TV is decided basically locals cost money. You see YouTube and PlayStation View, et cetera, raising the price. What the reason they're doing that is because that costs money to have locals. So instead of doing that, Sling TV said, well, we'll skip the locals because we don't want to be charging 40 bucks a month for TV. For all the people with antennas out there, we can offer our service at half the cost of PlayStation View. So if the only thing you want is locals, if you live in an area with an antenna, you can get Sling TV for 20 bucks um, and then use your antenna and save hundreds of dollars, you know, $240 a year, $220 a year or whatever it is. Um, so keep that in mind that, you know, if you say, if your only judgment is I want locals in a streaming service, that's fine, but you're going to be paying for it. Just keep that in mind. Drake TV now does not offer any international packages at this moment. All right. Hey, um, I have just a couple minutes here for questions. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to hear about it. Um, send it. And otherwise, if you're new here, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, hit that subscribe button. Would really appreciate that. Would help a lot. I'm going to play an ad real quick because it helps pay the bills. Put your questions in. When I come back, when the ad's done in 30 seconds, we'll answer the last few questions. All right, to everybody who's still here, thank you for being here. I really appreciate your support. Could not do Core Cars News without your support. It's been a huge help. Um, hit that thumbs up, hit that buns um, there to subscribe. I really appreciate it. So I see a lot of people ask like, oh, Sling TV doesn't have this, PlayStation View doesn't have that. The reality is no one streaming service right now is perfect for everybody. And there's no best one streaming service. So um, for instance, um, DirecTV Now doesn't have the Pac-12 network. So if you're a Pac-12 fan, Sling TV is a better option for you. And the list goes on and on. Uh, BIN Sports, for instance, is on Sling TV, but not on DirecTV Now. Um, and DirecTV Now has channels not on Sling TV. So you can really make an argument here both ways, um, that each service is missing what you want. Um, and the reality is that just because Sling TV is not right for you or DirecTV is not right for you, doesn't mean it's not right for everybody. So keep that in mind. Go90, the only thing to keep in mind about Go90 Movie Fan is Go90 is being disbanded into other services. Um, not the future of Go90's services like um, the access to BIN is in doubt right now. All right. Yeah, Paul, I understand that you know Sling TV doesn't offer locals, but Sling TV is doing that deliberately. Sling TV has deliberately said, hey, we're going to be the streaming service for people with antennas. Where other services are going 35, 40 bucks, we're going to keep our service starting at 20, 25 dollars, half the price of these other services because we're not offering locals. Locals are the most expensive channels to carry, typically. Uh, you pay more for locals than you do for CNN and Fox News, for example. So keep that in mind. Yeah, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. If DirecTV Now is the best fit for you, PlayStation View is the best fit for you, if Hulu is the best fit for you, that's all great. Get what's best for you. Don't rely on what other people tell you to get. So keep that in mind. Any new news about the Discovery service? No, other than it's going to start at $6 a month and include content from both Discovery and Scripps networks. 
Harold, thank you. I really love having you here. Thank you for your support. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. I would really appreciate it. All right, everybody. I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you all had a great day. Take care. Uh, hopefully, I'm still here. Um, but I would uh, appreciate your support. Hit those thumbs up. Hit that share. Um, keep out there. Keep spreading the word about Core Cars News. We will really, we appreciate all of your support. So everybody have a great day. Take care. I will see you next week, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Check us out over at corecarsnews.com for daily news tips, tricks, and how-to guides. See you later. Take care, everybody.